An Edgecombe County neighborhood cut off by flood water and about two dozen people had to be rescued by raft. CBS 17's Mackenzie Stasco is live in the Pine Top area of Edgecombe County and Mac, the area is still flooded tonight. Yeah, Marius, it is. Uh, right now, I'm standing here along the road, and the road is still flooded. As you mentioned, this is known as the Dodge City area of Pine Tops, and today it is still completely surrounded by water. If you take a look behind me, this is the neighborhood where emergency crews tell me they got several 911 calls last night, but told families to shelter in place. This morning, though, they ended up rescuing 22 people. Flood water flowing down Bynum Farm Road near Pine Top, cutting off homes and leaving dozens of people stranded. I just flew over the county, and this is the worst spot in the whole county. The sheriff tells me a majority of their resources went to this area of Edgecombe County. The water so high, the only way to rescue people was by raft. In all, they rescued 22 people. So we had multiple calls during the night of people who lived back in the, the two neighborhoods. Uh, and we were anticipating the water not to get up as high, so we just had them shelter in place. Uh, plus, being dark and stuff, wanted to wait for the rescue crews to have daylight. Rescue crews tell me they went house by house. One home had 17 people in it. They had kind of moved from four or five homes to one location. It was at a higher point. Some of the people rescued are staying with friends and family. The others are at hotels in Tarboro. But crews tell me at least a dozen people refused to leave and are still in their homes. You guys had gotten calls last night. Yes. Told people to shelter in yes. place. This morning, people obviously had to be rescued. Is there yes. anything looking back that you'd do differently knowing? Well, you, you, you know, um, some people just don't want to leave their homes, and I get it, and I understand. Our job is to make sure we save as many lives as possible. And we didn't lose, lose a life today, and that means all the world to me. Now, the sheriff's office has an extra 20 deputies on standby tonight, not only to keep an eye on the families who decided to stay and not get rescued from this neighborhood, but also because across Edgecombe County, there are a lot of roadblocks and a lot of roads that are closed. But the sheriff tells me a lot of people aren't following those rules. For now, live in Edgecombe County, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News. Mackenzie, thank you so much.